Okay, so thank you for being interviewed um, for the recruitment process for Harrow International School, Bangkok. So, uh, how did you find when you first arrived at Harrow uh, and being a teacher here? How did you find it? What was your first general impression? Um, my first general impressions were uh, the huge site of the campus, uh, the friendly staff that even uh, even senior leadership team were very, very uh, keen to to speak to you and trying to help you in terms of selling you in. Uh, you got put into townhouses, which was surprisingly big, particularly for someone coming on their own, but there are different sizes. Um, and I suppose kind of quite overawed by the whole um, Harrow brand, Harrow image, the iconic name that, that that brings with it when you first arrive, certainly for the first week. Can you tell me about the job that you're doing now? Yeah. Uh, well, I teach uh, business and economics, uh, IGCSE and A level, AS and A2. Uh, yeah, and I also work in the business studies and economics department, very friendly department, uh, yeah, qualification only lessons. And how long have you been at Harrow? Just going up a year and a half. Becoming experienced. Um, please, can you tell me how it is to work with these children? What sort of children are they? Sort of what's their ethos of work or play, etc.? Um, they're super enthusiastic, uh, super, super, super positive about their learning. Uh, they, they actually need more time to, to, in terms of pastorally uh, and just to relax and chill out and be children because otherwise all they ever do seems to do is work. Uh, they're funny, they're inspiring, they're entrepreneurial and yeah, they hugely, hugely positive, hugely positive. That's nice. Um, when you first saw the advert, number one, where did you see it and what was the process to then you arriving at the school? You saw the advert and you applied, yeah. maybe. Um, well, I applied late on in the season and it was, I saw, an ad, uh, in fact there was two adverts on tests. One was for an ICT teacher and one was for uh, an economics teacher. And uh, so I, I got in contact with the recruitment consultant, asked them about, uh, I could teach some ICT, but it was more business and economics, and you know, would that hold me back? They said, asked me to put in an application, went through the application process and CV, got long listed, uh, and finally got in contact with my head, uh, got short listed, uh, then it was, it was back, in, back in about May time, so it was very late in the season. Uh, met Mick at Harrow on the Hill, which was uh, quite a daunting <laughs> prospect, uh, with, yeah, with Winston Churchill uh, as you're walking up the, the grand uh, oh, staircase. Yeah. And then, yeah, interview, and then literally within a week uh, got accepted, and then, you know, within two months you're coming out and uh, you're going to start at Harrow. Okay. So, obviously, you're working here um, at Harrow, but living. How is it living out near the Harrow site or on the Harrow site? Yeah, well, I've, I've just moved off site, so I enjoyed it for the first year. It was great to live on the site in terms of getting settled in, being super close to work so there's no commuting. Uh, a lot of things get put on for you by the school and by uh, the operations department. But now I've moved off site, so I've got a, uh, a detached house, probably two to three kilometres from school. Uh, super, super easy to live because. Uh, with the standard living in comparison to the pay, you can afford uh, you know, maids, gardeners, eat out of restaurants every meal. Uh, I haven't done any cooking or cleaning since I've been in because there's, no, there's no need. So, uh, standard of living and lifestyle, fabulous. Fabulous, okay. Fabulous. And obviously, the school is just outside Bangkok. Do you go into the city? Yeah, I, I actually like it because I think it gives you the choice to either commute or not to commute. So. Uh, some of my friends prefer to live in the city, but that, that's forcing the commute every day. And it is, as you know, quite an intense city, Bangkok. Fabulous, but intense. Uh, whereas where we are just north, I actually prefer it because you see it's quick to get out if you wish to get to some places like Khao Yai. You're also having a very suburb Thai experience rather than a, a foreigner experience in the city centre. In, in somewhere like Sukhumvit, so I actually prefer it and, and to, to go in there when I want to, to at the weekends or in evenings. 
And have you done any of the exotic things? Have you been on holiday to the beach or the islands? Or In Thailand? Easy? Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, I've been to Chiang Rai a couple of times. I've been to Udon Thani. I've travelled. I uh, took a motorbike tour all around east and the east side of Thailand. I've been to Phuket. I've been to Koh Um yeah, I've been across to Kanchanaburi, down to Khao Sok. So yeah, I've done quite, in, in a year quite a lot. Uh, but with the potential with the, uh, the airport where it is, which is literally five, ten minutes from school, on a Friday evening, it's, it's quite conceivable to be down in Phuket on the beach by six o'clock after finishing school. Um, but in terms of other countries, I'm going to Nepal at Christmas, just come back from Hong Kong, uh, I went to China uh, recently in the Feb half term, uh, and I booked the Philippines and Bali for early next year, so the, the, the travel potential is, is un uncomparable. Could you give us three adjectives to describe your working life um, here at Harrow? Here at Harrow. I have to use the, the, the Harrow busy, definitely busy. Um, positive, there's, uh, there's a lot of positivity around, uh, particularly from the students and other staff. Uh, I feel very well supported. And thirdly, Interesting and very well, interesting varied. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, there's lots going on. There's loads going on. Um, the, the name Harrow frightened you off before you. Yeah. When you saw the word Harrow, did you ever think, oh, that's not that's too good, or that's not my sort of teaching? Yeah, I think it's because it's, it's iconic, and especially with the TV series that's happened recently about the very British school. Uh, you know, the, the whole the whole line is a symbol and iconic in itself. Um, I found that probably, if I'm if I'm honest, I found that overbearing for about the first week. And every word that you seem to see or hit, so every word you seem to hear, is harrow, and it's all that everyone seems to talk about when you first get here. But actually, once you get in a classroom and you you meet Harrow Bangkok kids or Harrow Bangkok students, you find out that they are inspirational. They are positive. They make you laugh. They're funny. They're sarcastic. They um, they're international. They're, they're they're hugely kind. So whether you're working for for a Harrow brand or not, it's the the students which is the, which is the difference and. And they're lovely. They're really lovely. Thank you very much.